Some car manufacturers have a bold vision for the future. Cars that not only drive themselves, but that can talk to each other as well, and so avoid crashing. I've come to see what General Motors thinks the future will look like. This is the MV, the electric networked vehicle. It's based on Segway technology, and using four motors, two wheels and lithium ion battery, it can do up to 25 miles an hour and drive for 30 miles between charges. But the impressive technology is the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle networking that enables it to communicate with other cars like it. It allows them to plan routes around each other, avoid traffic jams, and even link up to travelling convoy. What that allows us to do is basically have a really robust autonomous driving system without the cost and, and, and of having really expensive uh, and not so robust sensors on, on board. You know, things like the radar and, and LIDAR and the other sensors that we use today traditionally. So having a bunch of vehicles out there with these low cost sensors talking about, communicating to each other what they're seeing and what they're experiencing so the, the vehicles are all operating as one unit and not as a bunch of individual units. It can also talk to infrastructure, things like stoplights, crosswalks, uh, or any other things that, that the city or whoever's organizing it might want to communicate to the vehicle. Although it's just a concept vehicle, the NV is all based on existing technology. And while GM don't expect it to go into production anytime soon, the company is serious about bringing this kind of vehicle to the roads. They're already planning a four-seater model and are looking to put the car in the global public eye by making it part of a big event in a major city sometime soon. But the technology might reach us sooner than the car itself. Well, as you said, the MV is very much a vehicle for tomorrow. Uh, however, the technology in it, some of which we'll be looking at to bring in a little, a little more quickly than that. So a lot of the telematics that are in the car, a lot of the, the email type functionality, you'll find that getting into cars really quite quickly. Uh, the other area of the vehicle that will find its way uh, into cars uh, more quickly than that is the, the awareness of other cars around them. So some of the spatial uh, capability the cars has, so it knows where other cars are, uh, and you're already seeing that in some of our future models where they'll, uh, they'll have advanced and uh, proactive braking, etc. So whilst it's very much a car for tomorrow, a lot of the features will be used or evolved or developed and brought into cars more quickly than that. The main barrier for this kind of car is getting the right infrastructure. It's designed to run in its own special environment, not alongside traditional vehicles. That might be okay for newly built cities in rapidly growing China, but not for an already congested city like London. But vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology could mean we enjoy some of the benefits of the NV long before we all give up our traditional cars.